Hi, I'm Dr. Herb Raymond Schneider. I want to talk to you about a big problem in our society, and that's prostate cancer. If you don't really hear a lot that you understand, or if there's things that need to be clarified, remember this. We have the answers to turn this problem into a non-problem, and we're here to help you. Prostate cancer accounts for 20% of the malignancies diagnosed in this country, 30,000 deaths this year. The prostate is thought to be hard to get to, but in reality, it's very accessible. The prostate is literally within finger reach. Let's talk about the radical prostatectomy. This is a surgical procedure that removes the prostate Dr. Patrick Walsh and Peter Donker, what they did was really take the operation that we've thought of as existing for a hundred years, reinvented it. Dr. Walsh and Dr. Donker were able to understand, described it in such a clear way that surgeons, urologists, who undertake this treatment clearly know the landmarks, the roadmap of how now to not only do this operation in a more safe manner, but to preserve the vessels and the nerves that allow the urinary control function and the erectile function uh, to do the things that we value so much. Another method of treating prostate cancer relates to radiation and is known as brachytherapy. This involves placing radioactive seeds into the prostate with the plan of delivering a much higher dose in the prostate and a lesser dose to the tissues that surround it. Here is a guidance system which with ultrasound imaging of the prostate results in seeds being implanted in the prostate in a very symmetric manner and they're focused in the areas where we suspect and believe prostate cancer to be. Another way of treating prostate cancer is cryosurgical ablation. This strategy of treatment developed in the late 1980s and it involves delivery of very cold temperatures. The advantage of this is that we can use these probes place them in the prostate where we know the disease exists, and we can sculpt the ice conform to the anatomy of the prostate and not injure those delicate structures that we talked about earlier. This is a picture of the ice ball as it forms, and within this ice ball, which encompasses the prostate, the temperature within a very short distance of this interface, which is the, we call the frost line, which is at zero, these temperatures are well below minus 40 degrees centigrade. What we know about this is that all life ceases and the target cells, which in this case are the cancer cells within the prostate, are destroyed. Color Doppler, which is a modification of how ultrasound impulses can be used, allows us to visualize the prostate and see areas that look anatomically unusual. And what I mean by that is we know what the normal shape of the prostate is and when this is distorted we suspect trouble. Judith Folkman came up with the concept of angiogenesis. Angiogenesis means that tumors cause new vessel growth to support those tumors. It's interesting because Dr. Folkman was a graduate of the Ohio State University here in Columbus where our practice is located. What this ultrasound shows you that we can actually visualize where the tumor is located in the prostate. We've gone further though we've combined the ultrasound probe with a computer. And this computer 
allows us then to not only biopsy the areas that we believe harbor the tumor, but allows us to come back to those very precise areas when we're beyond diagnosis and are about to initiate treatment. So with a computer record, we can actually determine where each biopsy came from in the prostate and the areas that harbor malignancy can be identified a key to successful treatment. Cryoablation then is applied in these areas, killing these target cells. But time marches on and there are new things developing and there is here as well. And that is focal prostate cryoablation. In our system of dealing with prostate cancer, we really at this point only have two approaches. One is to take a passive role and observe, or we call it active surveillance. And the other is the radical treatment. Why are they radical? Well, because they can interfere with things that are really important to us, sexual function and urinary control. Focal cryoablation is a middle ground. It's a treatment that I think will be proven very soon to be as efficient as any of the others we've talked about and not disturb your lifestyle very much. We look at the prostate in a way that will allow us to find the site in which this cancer has begun. Usually this site is bigger than if there are other sites in the prostate, and we call that the index lesion. We know that the growth potential for cancer is highest here. If there are other smaller areas that somehow are not diagnosed, we know that many of those lie dormant. But if that isn't the case, close surveillance is the key to providing good control and good care for these individuals. So the individual has to be willing to go through intense uh, post-operative follow-up. We'll know the areas where the index lesions are, and I think almost certainly all areas that have involvement. And the key to this treatment is to find the areas that are focal, local, and those patients, you, could be the right candidate for focal therapy. This has been studied. Dr. Lambert has experience with 25 patients over about a three-year period. Dr. Bond, a physician that I've spent a lot of time with and learned his great insightful techniques has 30 patients he's followed for a long period. There are studies that are expanding rapidly, and I think in a very short time, focal cryoablation of the prostate will become one of the major treatment strategies that we'll use. And this is a way that we will turn this big problem of prostate cancer into a non-problem. This is what we're doing for you, the man who has prostate cancer. And it is not going to alter your life and you'll be doing things a couple of days after surgery that you were doing the week before. You have to be willing though to have close follow-up and you have to have a physician who's interested in looking out for these interests. We at Riverside Urology are very interested in helping you. Health service can be hard to find in an efficient way. If you just contact us through our website, we'll get back to you very quickly. And if you're in an area where we can't serve you, we'll find someone in your area who can. Thank you.